Hey guys, so I've been getting questions recently about how I keep my greenhouse so warm and happy for all of my little plants. So I'm gonna do a video about my thermostats today, which you can see right here. So I got these from a place online. Uh, I don't know the exact place, so um, I will look it up and I will put the link in the video description. They're like, I think they were like 30 bucks each or maybe a bit less. They're not too big or bulky or anything. All you do, you plug this into your power outlet, your power source over there, and then you plug whatever you want it to thermostatize. So say the heater, you plug the heating cord into the plug that you plugged into the thing of power. So this one is the one I have for my heater, and uh, you can see the little dial right there. Um, I set that to 52 degrees Fahrenheit, and the heater usually comes on when it's about 54 degrees Fahrenheit in here, and that keeps it from going too far below 50 degrees Fahrenheit. I think the coldest it's ever gotten was like one of those 25 degree nights winter, and it got down to like 49 in here in the greenhouse, which is pretty good actually. Um, and all my plants were like wonderful and they grew throughout the winter and they look nice. Now if you want a thermostat for your cooler or swamp cooler or air conditioner or whatever, uh, all you have to do is take one little wire, you just open the little screws, you take this thingy off the box, and then you move one wire to like another little prong or whatever, and then it's wired for cooling. Um, at first, I didn't know that, so I had it set up for heating and the swamp cooler was kicking on randomly. Uh, so I took that and I rewired it and I fixed it and now it's good. Along with your thermostat, you're gonna want a high-low temperature reader. Uh, the high-low temperature readers don't really do a good job on the high because as you can see right there, it says 95 and the high today was like 55 degrees Fahrenheit outside and it was cloudy so there's no way that it would have hit heat and hit it, heat it up that much. But uh, as you can see, the low is 55 degrees Fahrenheit which is accurate. So uh, that means the heater did not kick on but it stayed relatively warm. So in my opinion, these are the easiest things to set up and use in your greenhouse and uh, they will keep your plants doing well as long as USPS does not kill them first. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and uh, subscribe for new awesome videos every Friday. And um, thank you for supporting my channel, almost 700 subscribers, which is really fun. And when we get to a thousand, there might be like a cool giveaway, so stay tuned.